So I finished my third round. One, two, three. Yes, my third round. And now I want to begin my fourth. So for my fourth round, I will crochet the same thing. So I will crochet my first part of the front, of the back side, sorry. And I will stop into the before of the second to last and the remaining two stitches so the second to last and the last this with the marker I will work them together in a decrease okay so let me just work my stitches so I highly recommend you to work really really tight because if you don't you'll have ugly spaces in between the stitches and we don't want this okay so I uh, will finish the first part of the back side okay now this is what we have so far three rounds finished and into the fourth I just completed my first part of the fourth round because it's only the same so the back side and the um, decrease don't forget to decrease into each of the last two stitches of the back side and here two um, stitches, first two stitches of the back side, another part of the back side, so don't forget. Okay, and now for the front side, I will put a decrease over every two stitches. We have 20 and after this round we'll have 10. So this is my first work very very tight I'm trying to work tight my second okay yes my second and my third can you see I am trying to work really tight here my third now four one and two together okay if you um, I don't know when you will work the the sleeper for yourself and you want it bigger and you'll put uh, you'll add stitches, chains on the um, sole, so you'll have another um, uh, number of stitches. There's no problem if you can't uh, go on and follow um, the, the um, decreases. So you can just, if you have, you, you can't make in every two. You can just work uh, decreases for the stitches that you can, that so the even part of the stitches, and then you just work one stitch and go on and continue on with the the other part of decreases. So it's no no problem because maybe you'll have another maybe it's sure that you will change the but this is no not a problem I think you just I was trying to give you example here of decreases in uh, with different numbers okay so you don't have to panic if it's not the same the idea is to go 
to work approximately the same pattern okay it's not no no problem that you have one stitch more or I don't know okay now I finished all my decreases here I want to show you what I have okay and I must have 10 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 perfect and now I want to make my decrease on the first two stitches of the second part of the back side oh mine okay so here and I am ready to finish the round now for the fifth round yes this is the fourth yes the fifth round I just want to work it off the camera because we don't have we just uh, keep the same number of stitches on the front side so 10 will work just 10 and here you just have to make the decrease here and here okay so that's all okay so I will work the fifth round of the camera because it's nothing difficult and I don't want to make a really really long tutorial I don't like long tutorials it, I think it's boring okay so this is what we have so far and I will be back to show you what you have to do from the sixth round so I finished my fifth round and on the front side I have my 10 stitches and of course I put my uh, just two uh, decreases from one side and another side of the back, back side <laughs> and I began my sixth I just worked my back side with the decrease of course so I forgot to say to you but I think it's really obvious that uh, the uh, with each of our decrease on the back side we just have less one stitch of course so now into the sixth we have actually wait a minute one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and nine nineteen okay so we have nineteen um, stitches left and now on the front side we will work like this we'll work four normal stitches so one of our ten one two three and four and we will make a decrease over the next three stitches one two three so let's one two and three and now I will work them together and then another four stitches that we have left here sorry it was my fault it's over the two stitches here so work four stitches then over these next two stitches work a decrease and then yes it's okay we have four more stitches left to work normally one two three 
and four. Okay, that's it. And now we have actually nine stitches here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now I will work my decrease here on the front side, on the back side actually. So one and two together. And now I can go on and finish the round with the remaining stitches to work. Okay, and this is the sixth row round. And we have four more rounds. So I finished my sixth round and I began my seventh because into my seventh, into the seventh round, we just have to work the two decreases on one side and another. And on the front side, we just work our nine stitches, so um, there is no change in, to, in this, um, so no uh, decrease, okay? Only these two decreases. So work your seventh round and then will be three more rounds so we'll have ten rounds and then we'll put the border three rows of the border okay so I will work my seventh round I'll be back so now uh, I already began my eighth round because it's the same thing so I just put my first decrease. This eighth round will be the last round where we where we we work these two backside decreases. Okay, so from the next the ninth uh, from the next so into the last two rows rounds we will not work these two decrease. So we will left with I, I don't know then, U, with the um, 17 stitches on one side and 17 on the other side. But now for the front part, so we have 9 stitches and now we want nine stitches. We want to work three stitches, normal stitches, then these three in the middle, we will work them in uh, over them a decrease and then the remaining three, oops, one, two, three stitches, one, two, three, and yes, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, okay. So now let us begin with our three stitches. One, two, that we work normally, three, then our decrease over the next three stitches, one, two, and three. And the last three stitches normally. One, two, and three. So now from nine stitches, we have seven stitches left after this decrease over three stitches. Okay? And now we will go on and work the, the other side of the of the back side. So the decrease, the last, as I said before, into the last two rounds we will work without these decreases. So 
we will decrease only over the three stitches in the middle here so only this okay now I go on and work my back side and then I will begin my ninth second to last round and I will be back to show you what to work how to work on the front side okay so it's not really difficult it's just we have to be attentive a little bit and you can change the number for the for your size so I think it will be easy to change the size of the slipper after you you have this okay so talking I finish <laughs> while talking I finish my eighth round and as I said now I want to begin my ninth I will work until my marker without the um, decrease so I worked my first part of the back side without my uh, doing the decrease so I have 15 stitches on one side and 15 on the other side and in the middle I have so on the front side I have seven so with this seven I will work two then a decrease on this three in the middle and another two for a total of five <clears throat> so this is my first one two and now the decrease over three stitches so one two and three we have to work really tight okay and now two more stitches left here you work them normally <clears throat> okay As you can see we are almost ready we have just one more um, round without this so I will go on and complete this round and as I said I don't want to put any decrease on the back side so I will just go on and work my 17 stitches left here on the second part second side and then I will be back to show you the last round okay the last round the 10th I worked the side with 17 stitches and on the front we have five stitches one two three four five and with this five I will work like this the first just normal then the next three a decrease over these three stitches okay and the last one for the decrease and now the last one here and now we have three stitches left plus 
17 plus 17 we have I have a total of um, 34 35 stitches left 17 plus 17 34 yes 35 uh, 37 sorry because here we have three okay now go on and finish your last round and I will show you how to begin the border but it's really really the same thing that we that I made for the tutorial of the real booties so really the same okay okay so this is what we have this is our booty and if you want you can just let it like this but I think it's really nice if you just put on the border this border so I'll work with a uh, gray a little bit um, lighter than this one that I use for the um, sole and the only one one the the it will remain uh, left unworked just one stitch the stitch that is worked on the last decrease over the three stitches so this one so I will insert my hook into the very next stitch and I will join the new color and now I will work the first row all around and of course with the same front post double crochet okay so go on and work your first row of the bottom 